Yo, what it do, GG Nation, GG Legion, your fellow again, Strauss and the GG. Yo, welcome to another uh, unboxing video. It's been a minute. I think the last one we did was Catherine uh, Full Body Special Edition unboxing vid a while ago. I've been buying a lot of my games digitally. My cousin and I game share, so we tend to get our games digitally lately. I still love the physical collectors. I meant to get this video for you uh to you yesterday but i i fell asleep my apologies also 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 if you're wondering why i'm doing a xenoblade chronicles definitive edition uh special edition unboxing i just got this tuesday so that's the reason why i just got it had it only for a couple days now i'm about eight hours in and i'm really enjoying it you know some of my early impressions man the tone is much more serious than this one than it was two two is very anime it had a lot of jokes it was pretty goofy uh but i really like that you guys know i really enjoyed too but i do like the serious tone the weight and the expectations and the burdens on everyone's shoulders right now shulk fiora ryan and charla uh, you know i'm only on like i said chapter four eight hours in really enjoying it let's do the unboxing though you wanted to see this bad boy i finally got it tuesday late night tuesday Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Um, and here's number two. Here's number two for comparison. Um, the bummer with number one is um, this. There's no, it's just a regular case. There's no steel book. This is kind of a bare bones collector's edition, but hey, I had to do it for that art book, baby. Had to do it. And I'm going to be that type of guy. I'm going to be a jerk, guys. I'm sorry. Let me put the art book in this nice little case right here. I'm going to be that jerk right now. I am not going to open the art book. I always don't. I want to keep it sealed. And plus, it's like 250 pages. Um, it has some spoilers. I think that's the Bionis and Metconis right here. Very cool. I kind of, another thing I really love about Xenoblade, you're on these giant beings, these giant titans. I think that's what's really cool about two. Uh, that you're on these living creatures where this in Xenoblade 1, they're dead. They're dead already. Let me show you the the styrofoam they kept it in. It is the Monado blade right here. Bad boy. And that's where the game was. I already, oops, sorry. That's where the game was. I already took it out, obviously, because I've been playing it for eight hours. Um, really enjoy, really, really enjoying it so far. Shulk, sorry. I'll show you the game case. Shulk. Xenoblade. Let me take the cartridge out too. Here's uh the future connected stuff. If you guys have never known the history of this game, it's considered one of the best uh <clears throat> JRPGs. Here's the cartridge. It's considered one of the best JRPGs. I think it finished in the top four of uh Game Facts, uh Game of the Decade. So this game was part of Project Rainfall. It was <clears throat> Very hard to get here for us in the United States, man. There was a lot. Um, not very many copies were made. A lot of work had to be done. A petition had to be signed. They brought three games over, Pandora's Tower. And um, I think the um, it's the last, I don't want to say last day. I forgot what it was. It was a cool action JRPG as well. I wish that one kind of got a remake as well. I forgot. Comment down below if you remember what it was. I'm blanking on it right now. And Xenoblade. And this tent, this was the hidden gem. This game was phenomenal. Had a really high Metacritic score. The um, reason why I never got it, I got into Xenoblade with number, uh, well, Xenoblade Chronicles X. I actually have that special edition. I didn't feel like digging it out behind me, so sorry about that. Um, I have that one, but I didn't beat that game. I didn't beat X for Wii U. Uh, this is the one I really got into was Xenoblade Chronicles 2, the more anime style, plus, you know, Mithra, Blondes have more fun. Really enjoyed it. I'm trying not to make this video too long. You know, I have the tendency to ramble a little bit. Um, but, you know, we got it over. It was very hard. It was $100 plus for a, a lot of people. It was a very rare a game. And then they put it on the new Nintendo 3DS, and I didn't like the look of that. I, I thought it looked pretty bad. Um, so this remaster, remake, whatever you want to call it, Definitive Edition, um, is the way to go, man. The anime style is really good, but this game is very non-anime. I'll say that straight up. Are you expecting a lot of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 to be in here? 
And I'm interested to see how they connect because they do connect. And I know that moment in two was epic. Like it was really well done. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm excited to see what the future connected stuff is um, and so forth. We'll do some more streams of that. Um, I just, for me, some of these single player games I like to enjoy on my own. Um, I don't mind playing with you guys and gals, but sometimes it's just a little bit better to play by your own. But I'm really liking the story. I'm digging the story so far. I'm wondering where it's going to go. So you guys know how much I love Xenoblade Chronicles 2. But I can tell you off the rip that uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 1 is way better. The, the tone, the story. Um, 2 is a great action JRPG, but it's probably what I just needed at the time after Persona 5 at the time in 2017. Uh, it just had a really nice soft spot in my heart for this one. Uh, it's not the best one ever. I mean, it's far. I played way better JRPGs than this one. But, man, I really enjoyed it. 260 plus hours I put into this game, man. Uh, and I still didn't play all the Golden Torna stuff yet. Uh, really enjoyed that one. Let me show you. Sorry. If you guys want to see. I do have an unboxing of this, so you can just go to my channel. I'll probably link it down below. Uh, we'll do one more recap, show you everything that was in the box, and then we'll end the video. Physical copy of the game. Very, very cool stuff. Tell me down below, like, um, what are you guys, are you guys digging this? Did you guys pick this up? I know a lot of you are playing Animal Crossing very much still. I knew the new, uh, I know the new Pokemon DLC is coming out very soon as well. Uh, we'll see if we can scoop it up right away. Might have to hold off. I've been buying a lot of stuff lately. And there we go. Beautiful art book. Uh, sorry. Again, I apologize for you that wanted me to open and go every through every single page. I'm, I apologize for that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep this bad boy sealed. Just like my other Xenoblade Chronicles ones. Um, really enjoying the game. Stay tuned. Uh, we had a stream yesterday of Ninja Turtles again. We won't do that tonight. We'll do uh, something a little bit easier. A little bit funner. Um to get a plat on probably only about a 10 hour plat we'll stream a little bit of it today uh a little bit i might even start the stream a little bit earlier so i can go a little bit longer this will be the video for today tomorrow will be rate the friendships uh live here on youtube i'm excited with my little cousin we'll go through all the friendships and see uh, we'll rate it from one to ten i appreciate all the love and support we hit twitch affiliate thank you so much from the bottom of my heart it is awesome uh, follow my link down below if you have not followed. I know a lot of you are very are sticklers to stay right here on YouTube because you can watch it anytime, everything like that. Where a stream kind of have to be there, even though they do, you can you can technically rewatch it. Um, but hey, I, I appreciate all the love and support, man. It's been awesome on both channels. Tell me what you guys and gals are thinking about Xenoblade Chronicles. Did you guys pick it up? Are you waiting for another one? Um, I will say this: it is. Not a true remake. It's not like RE2 or Final Fantasy 7 remake. It's a very it's more of a high res version of Xenoblade. Um, they definitely the the emphasis was cutscenes and character models, and it shows a lot. I hate to say it, and uh, this is not a negative thing. I think it's a stopgap game for the next Xenoblade, whether it's uh, Xenoblade Chronicles uh, or Xenoblade Chronicles X2 or Xenoblade Chronicles 3, which I think it'll be X2. Um, but I'm, I'm really enjoying it right now, guys and gals. Thank you so much for all the love and support again. I know I'm repeating. Tend to do that. Smash the hell out of the like button. It really helps me out here on the channel. Definitely um, comment down below what you think of the Collector's Edition. It was $80 US dollars here. Um, very bare bones. Basically just an art book in the game. That's basically what it is. Now that I realize it, it's just the art book in the game. Uh, I do. I kind of like what Nintendo does with their collector's editions. They always kind of have a box like this. Fire Emblem Three Houses. I have a unboxing of that one as well. Uh, <clears throat> and they kind of they kind of use the same little box here, but I kind of like what they did with Two Better, the Steel Book and some of the the art book. And I I don't know if I got a soundtrack with Two. I don't remember. I wish they would give us the soundtrack more here in the states. I think Europe always tends to get the better version. Uh, they, obviously, they dubbed it and everything like that. I do like the voice acting. I do think it makes it unique for a JRPG as well, is that the British voice acting is pretty good. It's a lot better than 2, I'll tell you that, you know. Uh, but 2 has its charm for me. It has a lot of fun. But, hey, um, 
I appreciate all the love and support. Definitely sub if you're new. I've been your fellow Strassman, the GG, and I'm outie.